This is one we're starting today. The homeowner has already started it. Let's go in and see what he's got started and what we're going to do. So the homeowner has already came in and started ripping out this floor. This thing had two layers of floor on it. And he's got some sagging going on. But they built the whole roof over the top of this thing. Said, help. I could use your help. <clears throat> so I got Paul here with me. And we're going to tear these floors out from one end basically to the other. Um, the homeowner does not want to throw his insulation away. He's like, I just want to pick this stuff up, clean it up a little bit, and then I want to throw a new insulation right on top of it. And that's actually what he did. He got the bathroom to do too, which has another layer on top of it. A lot of work here. We'll be here a couple weeks. At least a couple weeks. So stick around. This is going to be a whole new series on mobile home floors. You can see what he did. He took up a few sheets, ripped out this sheet, re-insulated the floor right on top of the old insulation all the way down through there and put some sheets down and then called us. So here we are. I have Paul in here. He already did that too, so Paul's in here cutting around the edge. And we're using this sawzall to cut around the outside edge. Using the sawzall, so you don't have to have any special tools, just a regular old sawzall. And you'll be able to do the same thing. He's cutting that real nice and neat, just trying to stay off of the the uh, paneling on the inside, or whatever that is, sheet rock, I can't tell. It. Sheet rock. Yeah, sheet rock. So we're cutting the edge back so we can start framing. And, um, and then there and out. Blocking, blocking. Two blocks each bay. Two blocks on the end, two blocks on the outside, all the way across. We're going to do something a little bit different. Our plywood is going to go under that wall and then lay down. See how that works. We removed the plywood from underneath this wall because it went from one room to the next with a wall in the middle with no support except for the plywood. <clears throat> so we're not 100% sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're thinking about angling our plywood down, letting it go up under here about one inch and then lay it down um, and not doing any blocking over there. Or if we can get some blocking, Got plumbing pipes and situations over there to deal with, so uh, we're gonna do what we can. We're gonna make this the best we can at that wall transition. They never put anything under the wall, and I don't get it. What you need, power? Yeah, I need, no, I need salsa. What you'll end up finding is nails. You'll have to cut them off. It's right here. Yep. On you. Yep. You gotta get that in first, Paul. Before you get yours in. I'm on the wall right there. Yep. This side gotta come up. Either that or we're gonna trim it out right there, Paul. Yeah, it's coming out. Right there. Yeah, I gotta trim it out. You got one? Yeah, because it's done angle. It's no, holding the wood at an angle. Yeah, I'm good. Plenty of trouble. You got one? Yeah. That's the way we do it. 
one bedroom at a time. One bedroom at a time. That's all you have to do, guys. Tear out one room, fix it, start the next room. A lot of work in there. A lot of work in there tomorrow. And we're going to go through the whole thing. Before it's done, stick around. Subscribe if you're not.